Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Frank Torian. And Jinx here. And welcome back to Stranded, Ellie and Dawn on the PlayStation 5. So before we get started in today's episode, a couple things needed to clear up. So first of all, this lightning rod, that big green circle, that's probably the range. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we thought, thought last episode, well, maybe it has a range. Obviously, it's the big green circle, so <laughs> we're going to move that <laughs> over here for now just to protect all the stuff that we have. That would still scare the shit out of me if I was sitting there eating dinner and then lightning struck a rod next to me. Still better than striking you, though. I mean, sure, but I know it would strike Connor first. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll move that over there. And another thing is the way that this uh, until works, I wasn't sure. I didn't know how it worked, and so I wasn't using the until. I was using the, uh, you know, when you click on this, the times, mm -hmm. and just like uh, micromanaging it and making sure that it gets done whenever we need it, and then it created issues, obviously. And so uh, the until means that it will craft that many until you have that many in your inventory. So right now we have 16 in the inventory, so it's not going to make any veggie soup. Now we could set this up to make a certain amount of veggie soup. And a certain amount of meat soup. We don't have any meat soup. What we could do is grain porridge, though, to give them a little bit more variety in their life. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and do maybe like five. I don't know how. Uh, you really don't need that much. Yeah. I think they eat like eight per day. Eight a day or, for or everyone. For a team of four. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's two meals a day for each of them. So we could actually reduce this amount as well just have some extras just in case you so we'll do know. we'll do five and five and maybe they'll stop complaining about the lack of variety oh they'll still complain <laughs> <laughs> so jinx is a lot farther along yeah i've been playing a bit and yeah not, a not lot sleeping <laughs> like i should be when i gotta work uh-huh <laughs> I'm a bit hazy. <laughs> yeah, so we're trying to record a bunch of videos today. And Jinx is extremely tired, so we'll see how well this goes. It'll be fine. We don't want that one. I'm so just going to pretend another... that I'm playing and I can stay up forever. For some reason, yeah, Jinx can always stay up forever if she's playing playing the game. We're going to put a fence over here. And then maybe on that side as well. Just so they don't have to walk all the way around. And these fences here aren't generally attacked. It's just this open fence that they go after. Yeah. And I so, don't know why, but... I don't know. Make it easier for the player, I guess. I would love to be able to build diagonally. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. So yeah, we'll get those changed up so that they can go through those fences. So I wanted to get that done. And then we need to get our new place constructed. So let's go ahead and start working on that, because this is going to take a while, guys, because we're going to want a fairly large place here. So what would you suggest going with for our basic floor since you got all the experience? Jess? I just have the wood as my base. The wood on that one? Because it's a strong support and medium thermal insulation. Mm-hmm. Like, you've got trees around, right? Well, we got those trees. Yeah. But we have 206 stone currently, only 75 wood. So we could do like the stone floors and then do wood so that it fits with the stone flooring of the other buildings. True. Though I might get rid of those guys. Just have one big one? Yeah, that's what I've been thinking. That's how I did it when so I built don't, mine. So you don't have to heat that many places. Yeah, because I had four small rooms that were like three by three attached to one large common room. Which has like a kitchen and a living room. So apparently their happiness ratings are based off of how big those rooms are. Mm -hmm. And so a 3x3 three three is like a small room. Mm -hmm. I think we have to do at least a 3x4 if we want to have it be counted as like a normal size room. I don't know. They seem happy in the small bedroom, but no, they they get different happiness oh, bonuses. Really? Oh, really? Based so on the size one. of the room. Okay. Yeah. So like, they get a small room bonus for anything less than this, mm -hmm. and then if you get it bigger, then you get uh, just a regular bonus, and then there might be a large bedroom bonus. 
But the person who commented hadn't tried that yet, so he wasn't sure what it was. Well, so yeah, what I was you thinking ain't getting a large bedroom <laughs> is like we do the the four by three there. I hate that it hopped right back into the, the yeah. Side. That is kind of annoying. Because yeah, what I'm trying to do is set it up based on the rooms. We need four rooms. Yeah, that's really annoying. <laughs> can I? What if I hold it? Can we do that? You can just do all the hold rooms the R two same time. Yeah, but then I gotta do math. <laughs> <laughs> Numbers, man. Yeah, Numbers. I don't wanna do all that. Like if I do that with that, okay, that'll keep it out. Okay, and then we'll do the four by three here. I hope I made that large enough. It looks all right. Okay. All right, so that would be all the bedrooms. And then, yeah, we could have like a common room attached to it that goes down, I don't know how far. Like so? What do you think? Um, that's a lot of stone. Yeah. But that's okay, we're, do we're we'll only doing- we have to get more. Yeah, we're only doing the, uh, the flooring of stone. Do you think that's about right size-wise? Um, or maybe a little wider? Yeah. That'd be a pretty good size. Could do it wider, I mean. Mine was much smaller than that, and it fit everything that I wanted to fit in there, but there wasn't a lot of, like, extra room. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, we'll do this, then. All right, and then we'll have to do a stairway. You don't... I don't think you'll have to with that base, but... What, with this one? Mm-hmm. Oh. Cause yeah, it's not there. Yeah, it's not raised up. I wonder why that one was all raised up like that. Okay. So they'll get to work on that. Obviously, we need more stone, so we'll have to... I assume this will be Connor. <laughs> Coming down here and getting all this extra stone. We've got a lot of it. Yeah. Luckily, you're right next to some stone. I've got to travel pretty far for mine. Yeah, we've got... I mean, almost all the resources we need are yeah, available I like for your us. Place better. Yeah, we've got a, a real good location here, guys. Oh, one other thing I, I meant to get. I mean, I guess we can wait till this gets finished and just put it there. All right, so let's do the orders and then the mining. I'm not sure what's all still down here. Oops. Looks like nothing there. Did we collect all the stone over here? Yeah, I don't know. I'm not seeing anything popping up, right? There's stone oh, there. there it is. On the other side. Yeah. Do they gotta there's walk a, all the way around for that? There's a lot of stone down here, though, still. True. Oh, yeah, that's a ton. Yeah, that'll probably be plenty enough. And then I did forget that we need to plant trees. Because we don't have any around here. So let's go ahead and plant these big broadleafs. Huh, that's interesting. Where they were growing was not the best place for them to grow. <laughs> it just happened. We're going to fix nature then, guys. And set this up to grow in a better location. <laughs> <laughs> we can put it right here, I guess. So, like... I have not been foresting sustainably. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll put the, the broadleaf forest there. And we're probably going to want more. That's clearly not going to be large enough. You got all that forest there. Just right the land. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's where we're going to get the wood that we need for the the actual rooms. Because yeah, we're going to make all that out of wood. So we'll just get enough... Uh, well, Laura's at the risk of meltdown. Now people are terribly miserable. So a lot of work still to do here, guys. But what we'll do is we'll set them up with their, each with their own bedroom. So it doesn't get counted as a shared room. And then Jinx told me something interesting with the, the cave dweller. So we were thinking it was because of the light. That is not what it is. Hey, we got antibiotics. So apparently, like, what were you saying about the flooring? Oh, yeah, they need flooring. Otherwise, they are considered, they get that cave dweller mm -hmm. um, negative. So it looks like we're done with that. So we'll have the antibiotics. Do we need to keep keep it going? Oh, so each one produces five. Okay, I see. We probably don't need that many then. Yeah, probably not, because I think he still have a bunch of 
a med kits. Don't yeah, we? we do. So we just want to do it one more time. Because, yeah, you can break down the med kits for antibiotics. And since, yeah, this produces, I mean, I guess we can keep as much wine. We're going to need a lot of wine. Yeah, they're going to need wine. Yeah, they're going to drink a lot of it. All right, so you can see that we're getting those trees planted over there. Well, I think these need to be torn down, the bushes. Mm-hmm. For the, yeah, we'll get those. Although it looks like they're already set up to be torn down, just nobody did. There you oh, go, there Connor. You go. All right, so he's taking care of that for us. So we're getting the flooring done. We're still lacking stone, but everybody's hard at work currently. And we researched the leather armor, but we don't actually have the thing we need to to make that because I was planning on doing it here. And so we'll have to wait until we get that constructed. So Laura's harvesting. We have a stupid amount <laughs> of this uh, cob green because I made way too large of a field here. Can you reduce the size of the field at all? I think so. Oh yeah, you can reduce the size right there. It says reduce, reduce field. So yeah, we probably want to uh, reduce it some. I'm not entirely sure how this works. Oh, just like that. Okay, well that's really easy and convenient. Yeah, and you can make it bigger just like that too. Yeah, somebody told me it was really easy and convenient to Make it bigger. So yeah, we'll, we'll uh, make it smaller. Laura's farming six now. Got some alloy. Some and this stuff. here is about to rot away. Let's go ahead and throw away the stuff that's going to go bad. Yeah, all that there can be thrown away. And then they'll make some more. What were you saying about Laura? Um, I don't remember. You're talking about her farming skills? Are you impressed? Oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> Very impressed. All right, so yeah, we can make the armor. And yeah, she's level six on the farming. I like and Rita better for the farmer. <laughs> we got some alloys. Laura well, cries a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Rita over there crying too, though, on your yeah. playthrough. Oh, my people cry all the time. It's okay. <laughs> Connor's got it. He's running to go pet Bruno because he's so Aww. at risk of a meltdown. Yeah. <laughs> it's like his bestest pal. Like, Bruno. I need your help. Bruno, buddy. Come do something <laughs> cute. I'm feeling sad. Uh, so we wanted to... No, not the traps. I'm looking for the uh, flamethrower. Oh, are we still researching yeah, that? Yeah, I think we're still researching that. Yeah, I don't think we that. have that yet. I was thinking we had that. It's it's 61%. Three people at risk of meltdown. People are absolutely miserable. They hate their rooms. They're like, it's so ugly. I need carpet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they get that negative five of the cave dweller. And it's all the work I've been requiring of them. We are taskmasters. The only thing that I don't like about, I mean, other than, you know, you're getting a negative bonus for it, is I like the look of, like, the plain wood floor, or the stone mm -hmm. floor, and I want to leave it that way. Like, especially for, like, porches or whatever. Mm -hmm. Those don't have to be decorative, but they still bitch about it. Like, it's outside. Like, you're not in a cave. Chill out. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this one's about to go bad, too. Yeah, we'll just throw them away, just because we know... They're at risk of the it going going bad. Uh, so what's this about? Let's explore the expeditions with okay. the hot air balloon. So yeah, we're working on getting that now. Actually, we have it in the, the list of things to be researched. Oh, you just got it. Oh, oh wait, no, no, I put it in there, but it's not in there now. Huh. Okay, I'm not telling you what happened. Yeah, no, you had it in there. Yeah, I could have swore when we before we started, I was asking Jinx what I should put in here, and she's like, "Oh yeah, I put that in there." Because you've been going on the exploration. Ex yeah. Doing the exploration missions, right? Yeah. I want so desperately to find another oh, person, it. but I can't. I should have reduced the size of this. I didn't realize they're going to start planting right away. You can tell them to quit planting if you want them to, like, take a break. <laughs> yeah, because I actually want to reduce this. Probably a bit more than that, actually. What do you think? How large are your fields? Um. Well, I have a bunch of different fields. Yeah, a bunch of different crops. Like that we'll one's like that. fine. Yeah, I think that's probably good there. Let's reduce the size of that a little bit. What's this old equipment here? 
Uh, probably all the clothes. We haven't produced any new clothes since we got here. All right, so now we have the flamethrowers. That's what I was waiting on. Because we're going to put those here to you cover the door. One. How expensive are they? They're 20 alloy. Okay, we don't have much. Okay, that's fine. I mean, I really want to put one right here anyways. Do you need alloy to make the furnace or just stone? Hmm. You would think you wouldn't need alloy to make the thing that makes alloy, right? I mean, you would think, but I can't but maybe. remember. But there are more of these to tear down, and they haven't even finished doing this one that's yet. That's true. So yeah, we'll let them complete that. So Laura's over there uh, planting. And I don't really want her to stop because, you know, we're going to be hitting uh, winter eventually. We're going to want to make sure we have plenty of food. Mm -hmm. Connor's meltdown again, doing his sad wandering. It's just what he does. <laughs> we're just kind of used to it at this point. It's like, oh, Connor's being Connor. Yeah. <laughs> Go pet brew now. <laughs> so yeah, we're not making good progress on getting this completed here. Have you observed the cow poop yet? No, do you need to do that? Yeah, you observe it and then you can use it for fertilizer. Oh, okay. I was wondering why we hadn't done anything with that yet. Okay, so Ember will go prioritize that apparently. She's like, oh, yes, the poop. She got excited about looking at that poop. She couldn't wait. <laughs> as soon as I assigned that, she started working on well, it. Well, yeah, because she's over there doing, like, stone masonry. I would <laughs> totally run off. Like, I'll go look at poop. Like, just, I don't want to work on this anymore. <laughs> so let's not do any more research, guys. We got too much stuff for them to take care of. We got the long-distance travel. And, of course, we can't do that yet anyways. Or maybe we can. We have the 10 alloy. Oh, uh, yeah, you do. So we could do that. Let me just see and confirm that Jinx isn't right here and that the, the furnace doesn't require alloys. It just requires stone. Yeah, I didn't think the thing that makes alloys would require oh, alloys. But you never know how they're <laughs> going to do it. Yeah. Like you got to spend money to make money. So the hot air balloon, do you just place that anywhere? Yeah, and you use it multiple times. I see. Does it, really, it probably doesn't even need to be within the walls, but we have this big old place I, I suppose we might as well make use of it put it like right here does it need to have a lot of space or can you no use... like that's as much space as it needs okay i was thinking i'm just putting it in the corner or whatever yeah we'll put it right there and then it takes like 30 fuel for each expedition okay does a person need to go yeah mm, I it doesn't see. take very long though so we discovered the manure manure and so it's highly flammable can we use this fertilizer so what do we have to do to be able to use it as fertilizer i uh, just gather it or i think your your field is already set to use manure uh-huh so you should be able to just they'll just use it okay so like they pick it up on their own and stuff too uh if yeah i mean i think oh they're forbidden yeah, you can just forbid them to use it or... Okay, so we want to let them use it. Yeah. Why was it set to be forbidden to use? It's like they're not allowed to touch the poop. Don't touch the poop, damn it. <laughs> I guess I understand that. All right, so let's get rid of some of these <laughs> notifications here. Makes you think about it. your toddlers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> those of you who have kids. <laughs> we got an event here, Mysterious Calling. So don't laugh now, but I have a feeling a sort of calling to a point just beyond the horizon. Some of the others have reluctantly shared with me that they've had the same experiences. What we have in common is, well, we're not the brightest. People with high intellect seem immune to the calling, so should we investigate? Yes. Okay, yeah, I guess. Sure, why not? So survivors with low intellect will feel uneasy for a while. Did you get that event too? Yeah. It's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we gotta get that constructed first before we'll do it. Laura reached cooking three. Now she's playing some darts. So yeah, I don't know when this will get done. <laughs> Whenever it gets done. <laughs> Whenever Connor gets to getting us more stone. I can't believe we used all that stone already, though. Yeah. We have 200 something stone. The building is so resource intensive. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I should have just done wood, but we didn't have a lot of wood either, though. We only got the 75. We'd have to cut down trees. So no matter what, it would have required somebody to go out there and do some work. Mm -hmm. but yeah, we'll get the uh, hot air balloon constructed. 
Is it worth sending somebody out to go do that, like, right now? Like, when we got all these other yeah. things that need to be done? Because you're talking about not finding anything good. Well, I mean, you can find, like, items and stuff out there. And resources. Supposedly, there are other people out other there, survivors, too. Other survivors, yeah. I haven't found any. Bunch of dead bodies, but... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm just really unlucky. And I'm surprised how long it's taken for us to... <gasps> Oh, Best because we pregnant. had, because we have a male and a female, oh. Betsy got pregnant. So, I, we so said Betsy, sweet. Betsy. So how, oh, there you go, health conditions, pregnant. That's so sweet. Okay. I had a cow once. <laughs> Jinx's cow died. <laughs> Yeah, How did it die? Didn't it get flu. sick or something? Yeah. Ooh, that bird's trying to eat your cow. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> That's why we got the fences up. Are you going to be a father, Bruno? Because I'm already a father. You left my yeah. baby sitting over there <laughs> beyond the mountain. <laughs> it's been adopted. It's <laughs> got a new family. It's got a new family over here. Uh, so, power cells. Did we research that? I uh, cool. found one. Scavenging. Oh, oh, okay. We found a power cell. A compact but powerful power, so power source used in the production of advanced de devices and weapons. Okay. So that'd be helpful. Okay, so we found some good stuff. And we You've got a got trophy. Because yeah. we got the balloon. I'm curious how this works. So there's the call source. And then L1 and R1 to cycle through them. Oh, okay. And then you just got like an explore one? Mm-hmm. So can you go different directions? Uh, so the explore one opens up different points oh, for you. Oh, okay. I see. It's like trying to get to a higher ground mm -hmm. to see more. So is the call source worth going to right now? Or should we focus on the, the crap we got? Um, and if everything works out for you, I don't know if it's all based on chance on mm -hmm. whether it works out, but yes, it is. It's worth doing. Okay, so I guess we can send somebody as soon as we get the fuel. Oh, we got the fuel. And you got wine. We got wine, guys. How exciting. Well, Connor's not doing any work for a while now. <laughs> oh, there's just a pot sitting in here. Yeah, hey, that's where the food is. So where's the wine at? I think it's still in the barrel. Is it? Because I was just looking in here. Yeah, it might still be in there. I don't know. Maybe they took it out. I don't know. Somebody's already here? drinking it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's already gone. I just <laughs> want to see, it's gone. see what it looked like. Like They're on like the shelf. like fancy wine glasses. Yeah, I was just kind of curious what it would look like. Yeah, I don't see it. I don't see it either. Maybe it is still on the bucket. Okay, the, yeah, they'll eventually the get barrel. Bound. He said the bucket. <laughs> That's how I want I want my wine poured into a bucket. Connor's getting stoned now, so He's gonna be real happy. Yeah. So that'll be good. And he only needs to mine it. Other people will come pick it up. No, he's gotta transport it all himself. <laughs> Did we not finish salvaging this yet? Well, I think that you had oh, gotten the Okay, we got the stuff out of it. Yeah, and then you had researched how to like tear it apart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. And so they're still working on this here. Mm -hmm. So who should we send on the mission? The expedition mission? Well, it has to do with intellect. So it needs to be somebody stupid? Perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps. I don't want to ruin anything. I don't want to ruin the surprise. Who should I send? Somebody stupid or let's somebody smart? Let's look at their stats. <laughs> so let's go over here. To the stats. Yeah, here we go. Alright, so Connor's not the smartest. Connor's not smart. Obviously Ember's smart. Ember's pretty smart. Laura's kind of dumb. And Quinn's obviously our smartest. But he well, wants I guess Ember's to the get smartest. Smarter. But he wants to be smarter. True. So should we send Laura? Sure. That'd be a good choice. Okay. So let's send Laura. Make sure we specifically send her. It'll let you select. Oh. Oh, let you select who to send? Mm -hmm. Okay. So expeditions and then call source. 
and then Laura. Oh, oh you can't even send somebody who doesn't have okay, an intellect below five. Okay, it's gotta be somebody five. stupid. <laughs> I see. I think because they can't hear the source. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna send Laura on this mission. All right. Goodbye, Laura. It's gonna take her twelve hours, guys. And the nice thing about sending her too is she's not one of our soldiers. So if like we get attacked, because we're getting close to the well. I guess we just had an attack, so maybe we won't be attacked again. I don't know. But yeah. it's good to have our soldiers here. Okay, I so a she long she took time off without having like proper barrier. Like, you still don't have a proper barrier. Last time I, mean, I saw. No, not really. I don't have anything like this. Like it's fine. I've got she, some walls. You got like half a fence. I've from got what I was, walls. Does it go all the way around? Oh, Whoa. Goodness. Okay, so you had told me that these continue to drop from the sky. Yeah. It's dangerous. Yeah. Somebody's going to get hurt. But yeah, that still threw me off. Pitied Ember for their old clothes. <laughs> Drink alcohol. Look at the, the points you get for <laughs> drinking alcohol. They are ecstatic. I wonder if they become alcoholics. Probably. If they drank too much. My people just sit around smoking pipes of some <laughs> sort. <laughs> he was pleased by Ember. But yeah, he's doing great now. So oh, because he just had a meltdown. Yeah, he had the meltdown. So he's feeling much better <laughs> yeah, now. He's feeling a lot better now. He's All like, right, I can't so see what I'm doing. We know about the falling debris. We saw that. Jeez, yeah, I've never had it land that close. Almost landed on my trees over here. <laughs> my trees. <laughs> So did he take care of all those rocks? No, he didn't be close. That's a lot of rocks. Yeah, that is so many rocks. Okay, well. And still, you need more. Yeah. I mean, he hasn't taken out most of those yet. So yeah, we just gotta wait. Be patient. He's cooking right now. He's level four on cooking. Still nice. our best chef. Gonna make some snacks. His dream is to go on Gordon Ramsay. And what is that? That's a nest. <laughs> wow. So you have to attack them? How far away is it? I mean, you can if you want to. Is it like... Shot me so far, I don't even know where we're at. Can we not zoom out any further? No. Damn it, I don't even know where we're at. Yeah, it's kind of difficult. So you kind of got to like... like maybe, go the, maybe do it this click way. Click on the inset nest and then spin around to kind of see which way your yeah, stuff I, is. My problem was I was like this. I couldn't see anything. Mm -hmm. There we go. All right. So, I don't think that should be a problem anytime soon for yeah, That's you. pretty far away, but it will like spawn more enemies and stuff, won't it? Yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah, and you got those ones that mm. like can shoot at you and stuff. Yeah. That's gross. Have you had to take out any insect nests? Nope. I just left them alone. Oh. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Laura's still gone. Everybody else working hard. All right. You we got, got a pregnant cow. Part of the mission or the expedition. Oh, okay. I guess we'll get rid of this here. And that. You want to read this for us? The calling intensified when it reached its source. A book of all things half buried in dirt was as if it was staring at me. I reached out to touch it and with a soft whoosh, it crumbled to thin dust. A feeling of relief came over me and with it the knowledge of a special place not too far from here. We can go there immediately. Come back for now. It could be revisited later. If it sounds fishy, forget all about us. I guess we'll go there immediately. Yeah. Might as well while she's out there. Oh, is it done already? Yeah. Oh, that was quick. I found a circle of small rocks around an effigy made from rusty scrap. A thing like that in the middle of nowhere is an uncanny sight, but it doesn't give off a bad vibe. I feel like entering the circle and paying respects to the rusted figure in the middle. Let's hope that you don't regret this. <laughs> I guess that's what It'll we'll go with. It'll be fine. Okay, so it looks like they just happened immediately here. As I got near the effigy, it sprang to life and clung its mishappen arms around me. Locked in its tight grip and pierced by the metal parts, I struggled to get away. And then it spoke. It told of a mystic who visited this planet on his journey to find knowledge and enlightenment. Upon departing, he decided to leave behind a piece of his consciousness. So he wrote a diary and built the effigy as protector of his knowledge. I received this knowledge at the price of my blood. That's why you wanted Laura to go. <laughs> I understand. I'm so smart. <laughs> I understand why you want Laura to go now. 
because <laughs> you wanted to be super smart. Super smart. Okay, Jinx told me about this event when it happened. She's like, yeah, I got this thing where I'm like, my guy got super intel or whatever. Uh, Ember did. Yeah, she whoever it was. She was dumb <laughs> as a box of rocks because she was my warrior. And yeah, now she's max intellect <laughs> and running around acting like she owns the place. <laughs> okay, so that's why Jinx wanted to go. <laughs> So that she could be smart. Well, now you're going to have to do more. Yeah, I'm going to have to do like all the researching. Because, yeah, you're... The observing. You're already doing the observing. Yeah. But... Uh, I'll be better at it. So that's why she wanted Laura to go. Should have sent you Connor. You chose Laura. I said <laughs> I that was a good I asked you if choice. Laura would be a good choice. I said yes. And she was like, hell yeah, <laughs> Laura's a good choice. That's who should go. All right, so uh, we need... To just change up her priorities a bit. For anyone that's like an intellectual skill. We'll just go through these. And then it's just, just make, her... make her better at what she was already doing. Yeah, the observe will make her a higher priority for that. Although, we should have her, her be number one yeah, for, for research. research. And then Quinn can stop focusing as much on that. So he can do more of the construction. So we'll have him do that. I'm sure he's super excited. <laughs> and then, yeah, maybe turn her on level two for observe. That looks pretty solid, I feel. Okay. So she'll be our researcher, which is what Jinx always wanted to be. From the but beginning. I got bit by the book. Yeah, it looks like you need I'm to be. I'm injured. Oh, no. I'm going to go lie down. You need to be rescued. So I guess when you come back. Oh, something attacked. Oh, it didn't I attack. Didn't... Oh, he fell. <laughs> <laughs> he well, just came in. He got some bug guts. Yeah, now we got some bug guts there. But yeah, we got our first baby. I wonder what that's going to be like. Yeah, I'm curious because nice. Jinx has not had the success. No. That we have had. Yeah. Because I ha I've only found like one berry bush. Where are they putting the poop? <laughs> They're putting it with all your other stuff. Yeah. I have like one pile out of the way for my poop. I feel like it should be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's just keep the poop over here. Next to the garden. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I feel like that's kind of gross. Uh, so we're looking for storage. And then we'd want to do... I mean, it doesn't go bad, right? You just nah, put it in the stockpile. Yeah. Wow. Is one pile enough? I would probably make two. Two? Two piles for poop. Cows poop a lot. And then we'll uh, specify... What we want in here. Where would that be at, though? I think it's in... Crafting? Hmm. No. I can't remember. Raw... F no, not fabrics. Not gonna wear the poop. I'm trying to see if we can open it up. I wish that's not gonna be cooked meals. Yeah, it's not gonna be in that. Not in that. Could be in this. Oh, yeah. There it, it is. is. Okay, so... We just want that in there. Just the poop. Yeah. And then, I don't know if I can tell them not to put it anywhere else without having to go let's go through all these, huh? Yeah. That's kind of a pain. Oh, but they're all open at least. Make them move it out after he just <laughs> moved it in. <laughs> and this one here seems to be not set up right. Because we got like food on there and stuff. We got like the berries on there. But yeah, that was my problem with the cows, is that I had a really hard time finding their berry bush to tame them, mm -hmm. and I didn't find it until almost winter, and so I found them, and I was able to tame a cow, but I wasn't able to grow anymore. Yeah, you didn't have, on your on your map, it seemed like you didn't have very many of those berry bushes at all. Mm -mm, I had one, one berry bush. So yeah, your, your area that you land in, or at least the area you set up in, is really gonna control how your playthrough goes quite a bit. The balloon scared me. <laughs> All right, so she's awaiting treatment. She's bleeding. But she's still bitching about this <laughs> room. Like, oh, this flooring's so ugly. And Ember's sleeping, and that's who would handle her. So, should I wake her up or let her? Up, oh, she's doing it on there her she own. Goes. There she, she goes. Oh God, dang it, Laura. Smarty pants. <laughs> so she'll get hair treated. You have a painful scar due to mistreatment. 
Oh, wow. Thanks, Ember. <laughs> I feel like you did that on purpose because you're jelly. Yeah, jelly because of how smart you are. It's on your head, too. Oh, wow. She marked me. Yep. <laughs> There's no way she didn't do that shit on purpose. You got a mild infection in your arm. It's probably going to fall off. Nope. She took a care of you. You're good to go now. Mm -hmm. You got a scar. It happens and you get boo-boos. No. You'll be eyes. I'm hideous. <laughs> I'm a monster. So we're still waiting on 10 stones. Obviously don't need all that stone there. But we'll just unmark it. Here in a little bit. Everybody's sleeping currently. So we're about to enter into autumn. And man, I do not feel like we're ready. No. For winter. Because we haven't got any of this constructed yet here. So we need to get this done in autumn. This should be probably top priority. While my people do everything else but this. <laughs> well, they do need to cook. <laughs> yeah, they need to cook. But yeah, they, they need to, to focus on that. I almost want to tell them to cancel this, but it looks like it's yeah just about done there. We got some electronics. Nice. Okay. So we got the electronics. And that, that is completely done now. All right, excellent. So we removed that. It was in our way. All right, excellent. So unfortunately, Laura got all smart and now she's at risk of meltdown. <laughs> <laughs> even though she's not doing anything. Yeah, she's not even doing anything. Hmm. Does she not want to go do some labor? Do we not? We have to start not to do labor or she's something? Like, I'm too good for labor. Because I feel like she should be like carrying stuff. I'm just going to stand here. Okay. Is she not set to carry at all? Yeah, she is. When she feels like it. Yeah, she has the handle. <laughs> She's got, like, everything. She can do everything. She's not doing anything. <laughs> yeah, just but I'm there. horrifically <laughs> scarred. I need a minute, okay? Look at my head. Look at this. <laughs> there she goes. Now okay, I'm feeling transfer. much better. <laughs> I just needed you to look at it. I looked. Witness me. I saw it. Everybody's clothes are bad. Yeah, we gotta get this done over here so I can get that built. It'll be easier once we're doing the wood, I think, because you don't have to go as far. Uh, like, we're going all the way there for stone, and we just have to get this. Um, yeah, this is, like, right outside the gate, so it shouldn't be too difficult. We'll just have to deal with Connor and his meltdowns, of course. He'll be all right. But yeah, this is a long way for them to go. Uh, but unfortunately, that is the end of today's episode. Didn't get as much done as I was hoping, but we got some stuff. We got the bloom. Yes, that's really Laura important. got smart. Laura got smart. Jinx is super happy about that. So smart. So I hope you did enjoy today's episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it. Subscribe to our channel. Hit that notification bell and leave a comment. Do hope to see you on the next episode where we'll continue to see if this cow epidemic <laughs> gets any worse. Look at all these cows. What is oh that? Oh my god. A it's dog? A dog. We found a dog, guys. Oh my Next God. episode, Laura, observe dog. Oh, I <laughs> That's want a what we're dog. doing. So I'm gonna Why set would that up you hunt a dog? No, you'd be an, a monster. Shouldn't even be an option. I can't believe we found a dog. We need to observe oh that God. and then and then tame it. That is, that's the greatest thing ever. Mm-hmm. Jinx didn't even know there was dogs in this game. No. So now she's gonna be searching everywhere looking for dogs. I have those guys. You have a pet one of these? Yeah. Do they do anything? Just one. No. It stands there and watches me get attacked by its <laughs> relatives. Uh, so, do hope to see you on next episode. We got something exciting going. We got a dog, guys. So, uh, we'll see if we can't get that tamed. So, I'll see you then. And thanks for watching.